What's going on everyone? It's Fritz Lux and today's video girl, you won't believe the drama. You may not remember this YouTuber, but this is the first time we're making history girl. This is the first time we're gonna talk about this YouTuber girl. Um, I gotta fix my makeup girl. So this YouTuber may or may not have gotten herself into some drama, but we're gonna explore the drama that is Candy Johnson, girl. Now, Candy Johnson to me is one of those YouTubers that I feel is like old school beauty guru. Like one of the originals, girl, up there, okay? Like back when YouTube was like a different time, back when specifically beauty gurus on YouTube we're killing it, girl. We're getting views the house. I mean, Candy Johnson uploaded a video called a Glitter Lip Tattoo. 38 million views. 38 million views. Nowadays, you do that same little video and get about 10 dislikes, 20 views, and one comment. I mean, it's just, you can't do it anymore. It literally was a different time of YouTube. Like, li like cra crazy girl. Barbie doll transformation makeup. 33 million views. I mean, honey, the times have changed, honey. The times have changed, girl. Now you can't even get a subscriber to save your life. Now you can't even get a view to save your life, girl. Oh, if you can, like this video, leave a little comment, share it on Facebook, whatever, I don't care. Helps me out, love you so much. Well, <sighs> Let, so, you know, I had to go ahead and dig a little bit, you know, a little search around the internet, girl. So I found this old dusty, crusty picture of, well, 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 this was in 2015. We have Candy Johnson and Kat Von D, honey. And they're looking at like, what appears to be swatches and something, girl. Now this photo, According to the children of the community, girl. I'm trying, I'm trying to hype up the video, okay? Kat Von D and Candy Johnson were supposed to do a collab, okay? And look, I have the exclusivo primero impacto. You heard it here first, girl. Even the artwork. See, it was circular, Candy Johnson, Kat Von D. You see it, girl? It was in the making. Something was happening. They, they were trying to get the ball rolling. Now, if you collect makeup like I do, show you the house, girl. See? Got every collection known to man, honey. No? I don't see no Candy Johnson Kat Von D collection in here. No, don't see it in there either, girl. Get out of here, demon. Where is the vault? Wait, wrong one. Where is the Candy Johnson Kat Von D collab? Where's she at? Where's she at? Well, it, ne it never came out. Hmm, I wonder why. Did the Kat Von D and, and Candy Johnson have a falling out? Was there, was there some type of disagreement? Did they go to dinner and have break bread and start an argument? What, what, what's the tea? The people want to know what happened with Kat Von D and Candy Johnson. And the truth is, the world may never know, girl. I mean, I, 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 I've heard rumors. I've heard rumors of what went down. I don't have no proof to back it up, but of course, you know, I have... My crown is full of secrets. Secrets that I'll take to the grave, girl. Well, had to do a little digging, girl. Well, Candy Johnson decided to mosey on over to the Twitter. Here's what she posted. It makes me sad that beauty community is now more about throwing shade, showing off, and creating drama. Instead of celebrating our common love for the artistry of makeup and encouraging each other to feel more confident. Guess what, Candy Johnson? I would love to walk children in nature too. But the truth of the matter is, that ain't gonna bring in the views, okay? I would love to sit on here and show you all my little Pokemon cards, but it ain't gonna bring in the views. You gotta bring the drama or get out the kitchen. That's the truth of the matter in this world and age. The stuff that worked four, five, six, ten years ago, it ain't gonna work today. YouTube is changing. You gotta keep up, girl. And Candy Johnson's not keeping up the house. She's not keeping up the house. Well, the last time I even heard about Kane Johnson was like, I think last year she did a collab, Too Faced Cosmetics and Kenny Johnson, they did a little collab together. Which you already know, word on the street is Too Faced Cosmetics don't even pay that much money for collabs, girl, so who knows. But you know, that's just my opinion. I mean, it, it pays enough money to buy you maybe like a used Bentley. 
you know, maybe a little down payment on a home, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't enough to buy you a new Bentley. It ain't enough to buy you a brand new home. You know, it's a little cheeseburger money, if you get what I'm saying, MFW, a little cheeseburger money. All that to say, the times have definitely changed. So she posted this tweet out, okay? Now let's, let's dive a little deep, because there's a little shade in there. Let's see what it says, let's go. It makes me sad that the beauty community is now about throwing shade and showing off and creating drama. Okay, who does who, who throws shade? Who shows off? Who creates drama? Like, girl, everybody I know on YouTube shows off their car, their house, talk about little issues they're going through in life, create a little drama for views, a little clickbait, you know. You know how the beauty gurus do it. They get a brand new palette, the thumbnails like this. But then when you click on the video, they're all, they love the palette. So it's like, hello, hello. Get in, get, get, you gotta get onto the game, okay? You're, you're not clickbaiting for views, you're not doing YouTube. That's just the truth of the matter. I would love it for it to go back to the old ways too. It was a lot simpler. It was a really simple time back in the day. So I think maybe Kavon D might have upset some people with that tweet. Maybe they felt like, are you talking about me? What, what, you talking about, was that subtle shade at me? What's going on? Well, I knew that she was at BeautyCon. I saw photos of her at BeautyCon. I think she was with, um, you know, here's some tweets of her at BeautyCon and stuff like that. I don't, I've never heard of these brands. I don't ever heard of these brands, girl. So I'm thinking, what the hell is Candy Johnson up to? What does she have up her sleeve now that we don't know about? So recently, you know, busted ass Kat Von D and her injection drama. She don't want to vaccinate her children. I saw the tweet, but then when I try to find it, it was gone. I couldn't, I couldn't find the tweet. I don't know where it went. I don't know if it's deleted. I don't know what happened, but it's gone. So you guys already know that there's all this drama bubbling up about Kat Von D not wanting to inject her children with vaccinations. And people are very on the line with Kat Von D. Kat Von D's public perception right now is not very high because of her choices to not want to vaccinate her children. Now, this receipt I'm looking for was so rare for me to find. That I literally had to go into the depths of hell, girl. Into the seven layers of hell to find this little dusty ass receipt to prove what the title of this video is about. And I took some time. I had to mend fences. I had to mend ways. I had to go down and see, I had to go down and talk to the bone collector herself, girl. Now, if you don't know who the bone collector is, other than the damn, I'm just here for the tea, girl. I'm just here for the tea is the bone collector of the beauty community, girl. If you want a receipt and you can't get it, you already know where to go. The bone collector has it all, honey. She, now, she'll probably get upset because I'm calling her the bone collector, girl. She'll probably block me, girl, whatever. But I had to go down to the damn depths of hell and I had to say, here for the tea. I mean, bone collector. You have this receipt. I had to beg. I had to beg, girl. You have this receipt. May I please have this receipt for my community can see. And she gave us some thought, you know, thought about it. You know, she, she the bone collector doesn't just give bones out easily. You know, she's not like, oh yeah, here you go, no problem. You know, had to be a little, had to be some exchange. I, and the only way you get receipts from, I, I'm, I'm releasing secrets now. The only reason, the only way you get receipts from the bone collector is none other than receipt for receipt. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? So I had to give her a receipt in order to get this receipt. That's just the way, that's just the way of the world, honey. Bone collector, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, girl. So I have, so here's the receipt, right? You have to watermark it too, you know, it's hers. So here we go. I want the bone collector coming for me, girl. Cause girl, when the bone collector comes for you, it's like an army, girl, an army of skeletons. Like she literally sits back, girl, and I've never seen her in my life, but she probably sits back and she's like, what does she call her? What does she call her community of followers? Bone collector, I don't know, bone collectors. Bone collectors attack! And they all go, girl, she just, she, she, didn't even say, she just puts out a tweet, bone collectors attack, and they go, they go attack. Whoever she acts, bone collectors attack, at Rich Lux. They go, they attack, they throw in bones, it's over, girl. You're guaranteed to lose about at least 2,000 subscribers.
and you're guaranteed to get a couple thousand dislikes. Like, is this the true tea girl, okay? The bone collector is a force to be reckoned with, but I digress, girl, here we go. So here's, here's the bone collector's receipt. I love this, I love you, I love your choices. I love Raphael, and I love little baby boy already. Kat Von D said to Candy Johnson, we love you too, Candy. You see Candy Johnson over here, I love this, I love you, I love your choices. Fishing, fishing for a collab. Girl, she needs them. She's, she's out there looking for a collab. Girl, she's looking for a collab. I don't want to have to post video. Who needs to post videos? Well, you could just do a collab. A couple hundred thousand dollars, millions of dollars. Hi, hi. This is very interesting tea. This is very interesting tea. Candy Johnson. Ho, 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 ho. Candy, let me give you some more advice. Okay, because I already know I'm going to get hate in the comments, but true tea, girl. I know you, girl. I know you. Okay, you're very sweet, you're very positive, you promote love, you're, you're very that, girl, you're very that. But sometimes, it's best not to say anything. Right now, anybody who's out there saying, I love Kat Von D, I support Kat Von D, right now is not the best time. Really not the best time to be out there saying you promote and love and, hold on, she also said this. Thank you so much, the Kat Von D. You are one of my most amazing, beautiful, encouraging, funny, and dearest friends. I'm so thankful for you. I love you so much. Then Kat Von D replies and says, Happy birthday, my beautiful friend. I love you so much, Candy. Okay, so when she put that out, people were like, Oh, really, huh, Candy Johnson? You really love Kat Von D that much, huh? You trying to, trying to fish for a collab, huh? You're over here trying to grab a collab? You trying to beg? Beg Kat Von D for a collab again? Is that is this what we're trying to do here? Now, mind you, I, I'm only giving it a little side eye. Doesn't even post videos. She doesn't even post videos to house. The last time she posted a video was months ago. And I think if you count it, I could be wrong. I always am. You know, I come here and get the tea wrong all the damn time. But you come on here, but y'all still watch and love you so much. But I think she only posted like four or five videos in the whole entire year. Jacqueline Hill has her beat, girl. Has her beat the house. You know, and it, it mind blows me. And no disrespect, it's, I'm not being shady. It's something I, something I see. These YouTubers that get on YouTube, right? And they post videos, post videos, post videos. Then they start making some real money, girl. And they start getting these big, big, big brand deals and they don't even post anymore. They don't even post videos no more at all. And I'm like, hmm, where's the drive? Where's that, where's that ambition you had where you're like, if I could just get that new lipstick, just get on that PR list. That ambition. To, to want to get it so you can be, be the first to film, you know? That, where's that at? Well, girl, once you start making millions and thousands of dollars. So that's what I'm saying, girl. That's all I'm trying to say. Let me know what you think about all this drama with Kat, with, with Candy Johnson, honey, and Kat Von D. Do you think there'll be a collab? Do you think she's fishing for a collab, girl? I don't know. I don't, do you think she supports Kat Von D's vaccinations, girl? I'll leave it down in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. If you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters when they watch it. They lost 10 minutes of their life they'll never get back. And don't forget, I do have merchandise down below and music on iTunes. See you next video. Bye. No girl, no girl, I got coops. No girl, no girl.